What is up, you guys? We are back with another in the series of The Lost Post, part two. The super deleted posts from the Neville subreddit. And this one is written by, was written by, now it does not, it's not on Reddit anymore. Um, but it is by, it was by Phoenix Cycle. And it is called, decided to let, just let go last night and trust the process. Then it happened. So, a little success story here. Past couple days, I've been coming to the conclusion of me having to let go. Last night, I decided to take the next three days and focus on myself. I'm seeing more clearly how my SP is me pushed out. I was spending way too much energy even though I would lie to myself and say I wasn't. So last night, I did some SATS work, totally unrelated to my SP. Felt good just the same. So after no reply back to my happy birthday text a week ago, I just let go last night. Let go of the outcome. Let go of thinking of it. I asked God to send me a sign that I'm on the right track. I wasn't specific, but just needed some reassurance. I would be okay if nothing came, but believed there would be something. This morning, as I'm driving to work, I get a phone call from my SP. I couldn't answer as I was in heavy traffic, but she also sent a nice text afterwards that ended with, we'll talk to you soon. I'm going to call her back now and catch up. I still believe I need to work on myself to make sure I have a solid foundation, which I have been working on for months and looking back when all this started, I'm a new man. Thanks for reading. Hope you're well today. Edit. So I called her and her demeanor has totally changed. Her voice seemed soft and caring. This is so crazy. Said she misses my voice and me. Said she will call me when she is on her way home. What in the world? My faith is strengthened. Up until last night, I've been doing sats for 22 days. This has been one of the hardest things I have done, but I see I created this to get to where I am now. Somehow my subconscious got me to where I am now to learn. I see patterns that I have been creating in my life unknowingly over and over. But now the difference is I have total power to change them. It's funny, last time I saw her, a few weeks ago, she was wearing my wedding ring. I figured if I was living in the end, I would still be wearing it. When she saw it, she asked if I was trying to manifest her back. Totally drew, threw me off, like what the fuck? Why did she ask me that? We have never spoken about manifestations, never hinted at it. I don't have anything out in my house that would hint at it. Like, what in the world? Why would she ask that? I didn't say yes, obviously, but I felt that she knew, I felt like she knew what I was doing. Totally left field. 21 doubting, trust the process. Do the work, but eventually you need to trust the process. You can't force this, and it happens at a designated time. Be gentle to yourself, love yourself. Know in the back of your mind that everything, no matter how bleak things seem to be, are working perfectly in your favor. I love that affirmation too. Everything is working in my favor. Yeah, it's a good one. Some things I did. Started back weightlifting four months ago. My body is amazing. Meditate every day. Mindfulness, sometimes for an hour. Guided sometimes. Sats, I have an amazing scene I loop, which signifies living in the end. I'd be curious to know what scene he loops. Gratitude journal, 10 things in the AM, then PM. Five minutes of I am affirmations in the mirror. Guys, I, I've said this so many times. Doing the affirmations in the mirror or into your camera, recording them, watching them back, so powerful. It supercharges the fuck out of your manifestations, guys. Anyways, random I am affirmations throughout the day, scripting, listening to Neville Goddard, reading Goddard, even read the Bible. Right on, guys. That was a post by Phoenix Cycle. Uh, cool results he's been able to get. I don't know, the, obviously we only know what he wrote there, but it seems that it's working his his uh, routine, his manifesting routine is working very well for him. And uh, that's awesome. That's an awesome success story right there. 
Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hit me with a like, hit me with a subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.